Hey guys, welcome to Spiral Rocks 346. I'm Gloria, and in today's video, I am going to take this plain mini three ounce tumbler, and we are going to engrave a monogram on it. And on the back, it's going to say Merry Christmas. So guys, if you're ready, and if you're interested, stay tuned. Let's get started. I am going to engrave on these mini tumblers in my Glowforge. You can do it in another laser if you would like. Here goes all the straws. And these things are so cute. I already had an order of 36, I think it was, that I sublimated some images on for a customer. So, these are 3-inch mini sublimation tumblers. So, you can sublimate on them. But today, we are not sublimating. We are going to put a logo on it. And then in the back, it's going to say Merry Christmas 2023. So... I'm going to prep all of my mini tumblers, and these are the colors. And don't throw these wraps away because you are giving them away. So you can use them as storage before you put them in the box. So we got it in white, teal, or aqua, orange, lilac, or lavender. We got them in hot pink. And also in a green. Guys, these tumblers are awesome. These are great for decorations, for gift giving, for doing different projects. Or if you just feel like, you know, designing for yourself. These, um, they call shot glasses, but I mean, you really can't put too much in it. Uh, maybe uh, an espresso shot if you're not a drinker. So definitely try these out. They are awesome and the colors are great. So let's head over to my Glowforge. So here I go next to the Glowforge. And what I'm doing, I'm doing a test cut to make sure that the settings that I have is the correct settings to engrave this mini tumbler now i'm gonna tell you right now i thank god i had a used mini tumbler to use because it took me a couple of tries before i figured out what settings that i needed so i'm gonna fast forward this part to show you a little bit and i also engraved on a glass shot glass i think it's a shot glass okay so at this point it's going to start to engrave and I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, at this point, I noticed that it is burning. Not really burning, but it got black char. So I'm gonna keep on going and I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I have my fire blanket ready and my distinguisher. So if anything happens, I could blow it out. So let's see. Okay guys, so now it is all done. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you how it looks. Hopefully it didn't burn up so much. I didn't have no fire, thank God. So. Right now, I'm just going to let it cool down. Let's see. So, it did engrave good. Let's wipe it down. Get all that blackness off. From the charredness. Let me go wipe it down with a wet towel. It didn't do too bad. So now that I test it, as you can see, 
some of it worked and some of them didn't. I found out the settings. It's 700, full pressure, 340, and measurement is 0.25. So, let me get the other designs on the computer and start placing my tumblers in. These are going to be great Christmas gifts. Created with a purpose. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm here at the Glow Forge. And in order for you to three ounce tumblers in your um glow forge, you have to take the bottom comb out. Okay. So here is one of the tumblers that I tested and it came out really good. I end up sublimating this mug so it's actually pink and some of it was off and some of it did really good. So what I'm going to do in order for you to stabilize the tumbler in you, I am using 3M blue tape. So I just want to take a piece just want to fold it over a couple of times then I'm gonna take one of my tumblers and I'm gonna take the lid off and then I'm gonna add it to my mug and it's gonna look like this then you want to put it in the center of your Glowforge or wherever you want to engrave. Then I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go back to my Glowforge. I'm going to set everything up and then we're going to see engrave. I use the setting. Okay, here it goes. Let's see if it works. Okay guys, it's all done. Oh my god, it looks horrible. Let's clean it up and see. Let's go to the table. Okay, we're back at the table. And here goes my engraved image. It looks pretty bad right now. But, I have these towels. And they're called tub towels. And they're scrubbing wipes and they work good for cleaning your Glowforge or to remove anything that you would like. So now I'm just going to wipe this down. Now they also said that Bars Keeper Scrub works really good on this. I don't have none of that. So I will be getting some to finish this off. But that's what it looks like, guys. It engraved pretty good. And it did not leave a lot of no soot. It came right off. Okay, that side came out good. Now let's turn it around without cleaning it and do the other side. Okay, so this is how I did engrave on these mini tumblers. Okay, now, now the mini tumbler is three ounces and it has a area of two inches. And I think the Glowforge only goes two and a quarter. So 
you're allowed to do the mini tumblers and maybe a shot glass but you cannot do no big tumblers no mugs nothing like that now i've been hearing a lot of people cutting the bottom of their glow forge so they can start engraving tumblers which i think is kind of crazy glow forge said it did a removable bottom like the x tool and other laser machines okay guys it looks done let's go to the table okay guys so we at the table and here goes the engraved tumbler mini tumbler so it did a lot of charring so let's wipe it down Oh, that side looks good. Let's do the other side. Okay, guys. That's what the mini tumbler looks like. And it says, Merry Christmas 2023. Now, let me do the other ones, and I'll come back when all of them are done. So what I'm doing right now is prepping them. I'm putting some blue tape behind it to keep it still on the Glowforge. Now remember, you can always use your Glowforge to make a jig. It's super easy. All you have to do is know your measurements. Okay, and I'll be back when all of them are all done. Okay, we're all done. Let's head back to the table. Okay, guys, so we're at the table. And this is what my tumblers look like. That's one side. And they got a lot of char on it right now. I've got to wipe that down. And I got this one. This one really charred up good. I think because it was wider. And then you already guys already seen this one. I'm gonna reclean this one, but I end up using some comet lavender with bleach. And then here goes the other one. And then the last one. And I got three more to do, but I'll do that off camera. It'll be similar to this so what i did was i have a bowl right here with some comet and a little bit of water to make a paste and then i have this paper towel and i'm gonna try to scrub it down so now I'm just going to grab it with my fingers and I'm going to add the paste onto the tumbler and I'm just going to scrub it off. And not so hard either. This is scratch free Comet so it's not abrasive. And I'm just going to keep on wiping it down until it comes out clean. And as you can see it went very slightly here because for some reason this last one that I made it was off centered. On the monitor on the computer it looked at center but somehow when the image went on it just wasn't centered so now I'm just going to take a little bit of this one and just pass it and scrub it down And then I'm going to wipe this down with a wet towel. Now they said that Bars, Bars Keepers is better. And this is very similar to it. So I figured, oh well, let me try it. 
Okay. So I'm going to do this to all of them, and then I'm going to wipe them down with a wet cloth to pick up anything else. And I'll be back when I'm all done. But this one looks pretty good, too. This green one came out nice. I like the way how the inside of the flowers are green. It kind of really enhances it. Okay, so I finished wiping all of this down with Comet, and now I'm going to go wash them really quick. Okay, guys, so I washed all of them, and now I'm just going to dry it and show you how they look. That's was Merry Christmas. Like I said, it was off on the design just a little bit. But I love how it came out. So let me wipe down the other ones. Okay guys, so that that's what that one looks like. They all came out <laughs> really good, even though one of them got messed up, but it's still salvageable. That's gorgeous. And then these two came out good. Now I wish I would have went down just a, a little bit on the K. But it's still, as long as it wasn't all the way to the rim, I'm still good with it. So guys, there goes my video for today. Engraving on the 3 ounce mini tumblers. These came out really cute. And now... I need to find something. Hold on. I have these small little square boxes. And this is like perfect. Add some tissue paper. This is like perfect for it. And you just close it on both sides. And there you go. So guys... Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you really soon. So, that's what the mini tumblers look like. And I thought they came out super cute. So guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, guys, you stay blessed and I'll see you soon. Bye now.